Hey all, Heber here. So, we are taking out the Bourgogne today and I've had the ship for about a week now, I guess, just under a week. And uh, I've played a few battles in it and I've kind of made up my mind. And uh, of course, I'll discuss the ship in this video here and uh, how it compares to specifically Republique at tier 8. So uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, obviously, if you enjoy this video here. So uh, first, let's have a look at my setup and commander here, because I'm using a Lane Dunkirk on the Bourgogne. And uh, I have Cunningham as an inspiration, along with Scharnhorst for better precision, flammable cannoneer. Frontal Fire that allows me to switch shell type almost instantly. Megalomania, I love that perk by the way, it's excellent. Master Mechanic and Fight Fire with Fire because there's really no good legendary perk here. It doesn't have will to rebuild. Aiming Systems, Propulsion Mod and uh, Concealment Mod and then Main Battery Mod 3. So 5 heals, 2 reload boosts and 2 speed boosts. And uh, these are the stats with this build here, you can just 22. Reload, 19 reigns, give or take, and uh, I mean, pretty decent. Uh, and just remember that you have that pretty good reload boost as well that you can use. Armor, also quite good. Not the best, but quite good. And uh, Citadel is decently protected. So uh, I remember when we got Republique at tier 8, I thought that this is a great battleship. And I still think that, by the way, I love Republique. Uh, but then I thought... Well, if that's the tier 8, what's going to be at legendary tier then? And uh, I got my answer, this update here, because it's going to be this ship here, Bourgogne. And uh, I looked it up on PC, uh, well, right when Republic came out, because I was thinking, what will be the legendary? And I remember looking at this ship and thinking, 380 millimeters at legendary tier? Mm. And uh, look, sure, you can make these guns here work there's nothing wrong with them but eh, the caliber is a little low um i will say that and especially compared to republic where you got those nice 400 and whatever it is and they just ram through everything and uh, i do miss that a little bit on this ship here you can see here i'm shooting hg at the musashi because he's angled and i'm not sure that i'll be able to pen even his cheek here at 10 kilometers because, uh, of course, I have been doing, uh, you know, some uh, testing. And I probably should have... Well, I do switch to AP. <laughs> I was going to say, I probably should have shot AP there. But uh, I do, and I uh, get one Citadel. Yeah, I don't know. I still think the AP is the only downside to the ship here, really. Uh, and other than that, it's wonderful. I mean, it's a champ bar with an extra turret on the back. Really, that's pretty much what it is. And uh, I mean, jump back and hold its own against legendary is no problem. Um, but I still think that Republic is a better ship overall. I think it's more fun to play, and I just think it hits harder, and uh, it also takes damage better. I think. Um, so I mean, if you ask me, Republic is number one of all battleships, uh, and then probably Yamato. And then Bourgogne, if you ask me. That's just my personal opinion here. But I mean, that's not bad. In the top three out of, I don't know how many battleships, it's a lot. So uh, it's definitely a ship that's worth researching. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely great. And uh, if you can catch, you know, cruisers, you know, either they're not paying attention or just happen upon their broadsides, well, you can absolutely just punish them right out of the game. Uh, especially because you get that nice reload boost that allows you to get off two, three salvos in quick succession. So uh, if a cruiser is like totally oblivious and uh, maybe a little bit slow to move, uh, you can just remove them uh, in a matter of 30 seconds with that reload boost. And yeah, that's amazing. And that's the same thing Xiang Ba can do. Uh, and that's what makes this ship here great. Because without the reload boost, mm, I mean... It would still be good, but it wouldn't be as good. <laughs> if we're talking about downsides to Bourgogne as well, then I think that I'm, like, I'm running a full accuracy build here, and I feel that it's a little bit inaccurate, uh, especially compared to Republic. Again, I mean, I know I keep saying Republic, but it is just a wonderful battleship. 
It's the best battleship in the game and it's just so much fun to play. Uh, I think it's more accurate than Bourgogne. I could be wrong, could be just be, you know, confirmation bias or whatever, but uh, I mean, I have played 20, 30 battles in Bourgogne now and uh, mm, I don't know. I find Republique more accurate. I don't know. So uh, I don't really think it's the reload boost as much that makes this ship so much fun to play and so good. Uh, and also the same with Republique and Chambar for that matter. It's not the reload boost. I know Republique doesn't have one. Uh, but it is the commander. Like you saw in the beginning, I'm using a Shulane Dunkirk here, fully upgraded. And uh, she gets like all the great perks, like all the ones you really want. And she got her special perk that allows you to switch instantly from AP to HE or HE to AP as long as uh, you know your guns are loaded and I'm doing that a lot in this battle here so you can just uh, keep an eye out for it uh, that skill is just crazy I mean if a destroyer pops out and you have AP loaded you can just switch shells instantly and uh, you know punish it with HE shells or if a nice cruiser broadside shows up and you uh, happen to have loaded HE, you can just switch instantly and take great advantage of that. So a Dunkirk work on, works on all the uh, French battleships, so every French battleship gets this ability. And I mean, it's the only nation that gets this. I mean, you can get close if you uh, stack that perk with the inspiration on other nations, but you're still gonna have to wait 10 seconds or something like that along those lines. And you lose out, you have to use all your inspirations and your primary commander to do that. While with the French ships, you get it for free. And wow, I mean, it is just so useful and so powerful. So if you're facing these French battleships here and you're thinking like, what? like. How are, how are they doing so well? And like that reload boost is overpowered and stuff. I don't think it's the reload boost. I think you're just up against players who have a high level Azure Lane Dunkirk. And uh, yeah, I mean, she's gonna do it. If you have her 16 4, you have probably the best commander in the game. And uh, goodbye, Kurfürst. Uh, it's just. It's just nuts, really. And uh, it's a little bit unfair the other nations don't get that opportunity. Because. In my opinion, it makes the French battleships probably the best battleships in the game. Yamato is my second because those, you know, 18-inch guns, they just punch through anything and that's fun. But uh, anything else, I'll go French. So uh, in this battle here, we've got the Reds pretty much sequestered to the right side of the map now. Um, and uh, we're down. Two ships, I believe, four versus six. So it's not looking too good right now. So, and I'm starting to find myself in a crossfire here. And right now I'm thinking, oh, okay, we're gonna lose this. But then I see the Des Moines, it has nearly no health. So uh, that means that he's gonna, he's not gonna go up against me because just one HC shell is gonna take him out. If he had full health, well, I would, I would be gone here. Uh, but, and here I forget to switch to AP. I mean, what a noob. I shoot a full HE salvo at a broadside Alaska. And yep, my fault, my bad. I had the Des Moines in mind and I wasn't really paying attention. And well, such is life. It's okay. Someone else takes care of him for me. And uh, as you can see, the red ships are on the right side. And there's really no point pushing because we have two caps and there's no red ships left uh, on our, you know, our two thirds of the map. So, I mean, we just have to keep the Reds from pushing us, really. That's it. So uh, to achieve that, I'm trying to keep uh, unspotted here for this annoying Minotaur. I'm just going to snuggle up to this island here and then I'm going to see what happens because it might, you know, take them a while to figure out what they're going to do. And, you know, the longer we can drag this out, the better because we have the, uh, the advantage in caps. We don't have the advantage in ships, but it's close. And, uh, you know, the longer this battle takes, the better it is for us. At least as long as we have two caps. Now, uh, we still have our destroyer left. So uh, that means that if it's a good destroyer player, which it is in this case here, all he has to do is to spot 
And uh, that way we can, you know, anticipate every move of the Reds and it'll pretty much be impossible for them to push through and uh, grab the B cap, which they will have to in the next six minutes. Otherwise they will lose because we're already ahead on points now. And um, yeah, it's just a matter of waiting really. So uh, I still remember this Des Moines out there at the, uh, you know, 1% health. And uh, that's why I'm keeping my turrets, you know, turned to the right side because sooner or later he's gonna have to pop out and you know try to turn this battle here around he can't just sit behind that island there forever well he can but then he's gonna lose and uh just at the same time trying to stay unspotted uh but that means i am now sonar so that means the minotaur is close so uh that's of course a little bit worrying but now i'm not sonar anymore so he's yeah four point something kilometers away and right there he is so uh I'm thinking, is he gonna rush or is he just gonna take up a position there around the corner? And of course I switched to AP, as you saw instantly, uh, because uh, if he rushes, I can take him out in one salvo. But uh, it is a bit of a gamble here because now he goes unspotted in his smoke cloud and I don't know what he's up to. So I'm thinking, ah, okay, well, the best thing is probably just to rush him, but then he shows up. Uh, and how lucky. <laughs> and. Uh, I don't get him in one cell because while I was reversing, I got my rear turret out of you know position and uh, yeah, just too bad. But anyway, we got him there, done. So uh, yeah, against Minotaurs the AP is good, but you know any AP is good against Minotaurs. Um, but if you have up against like broadside battleships, I've found that many times the AP just is uh, is is very disappointing, really. Uh, if you're up against legendary battleships, that is tier seven and tier eight's okay, but uh, like the heavily armored legendary ones, mm, ah, the, it's it lacks a little bit of punch. So, uh, like I said, there is no need to push here. I mean, the onus is on the red ships to make a push because they're the ones behind almost 300 points. Now they're the ones who have to make a move, not us, uh, and. Luckily, my team shares the same, you know, uh, strategy or tactic, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's not really that difficult. But in some, let's say in many battles where you have a situation like this, uh, your teammates just keep going and there's, there is no point to doing that. I mean, we're already winning and winning harder isn't going to do anything other than maybe some potato shows broadside and the battleships get gets taken out and uh, one of the flanks get overrun as you can see now we are like we kind of have a flank on each side of b with one battleship on each side and yeah the destroyer on the other side but it doesn't really matter it just means that no one can push through really and uh, if that yamato here decided to rush me i would just ram him really and uh, that would be the end of it so uh Bourgogne, should you research it yes obviously because uh, it's free, it's in the bureau and you can just start researching it and you know, putter along as you want and then one day you'll have the ship, so why not? Um, and if you already have Yamato, then I suggest you start researching this one uh, because I think it's the next best thing. Uh, of course, Republic, you can't get anymore if you missed out on that uh, campaign and I said many times, buy the ship, buy the campaign and uh, here I'm waiting for the Des Moines to come out. That's why I was sitting where I was, because sooner or later he's got to come out from that island there. And uh, that happened right now. And ding, dong. So uh, now the Reds have lost. Uh, there's really nothing they can do. The only hope they had was to get me spotted. And uh, then the Des Moines unspotted, just, you know, burning me down. But uh, obviously that's not going to happen now. And uh, we still have a destroyer left. There's only this single Yamato left. So uh, that's why I'm moving in. Uh, there's really no point. I could just sit behind the island here for the last two minutes, but uh, too boring, really. So, uh, and I can see he's gonna go broadside to me. So, I mean, why not? So, and also, like, look at the accuracy here. Um, I'm not. That was also partly my fault. I didn't know he was gonna hit the island there. I thought he was just keen to keep turning, but I don't get the same feel of you know a nice tight spread as you do in Republic, and uh. Now all he's got eyes for me. I'm trying to get him right under the second turret there. Because uh, this one looks good. 
a little bit too far. We get one citadel. Mm. I mean, out of eight shells. Yeah. And another thing, the turrets on this Bougonia here, they get taken out extremely easily. Uh, it's just like Xiang Ba. Like, if an Alaska looks at your turrets, uh, they're gonna die. So, uh, that's another reason that Republic is just uh, a better ship overall, I think. Because I don't think I've had my turret taken out in Republic once. Uh, and I've played that ship a lot. But uh, yeah, we get another Citadel here. And uh, yeah, like I said, there's really n it wasn't strictly necessary to rush this Yami here, but it's free damage, so why not? <laughs> and uh, that's the end of him right there. So we end up with nine Citadels and a Dreadnought, but no High Caliber, no Confederate, no Kraken or anything like that. But we still end up with 3,500 XP because we played the objective. <laughs> so uh, hope you enjoyed this Bougonia video guys and I'll see you out there.